hello everyone welcome to this video in the previous video we have just completed the first task in our az104 series of videos in this video we're going to look at how to create azure ed groups with assigned and dynamic membership so let's just go down to task 2 And that is over here create ad groups with assigned and dynamic membership. so in this one we're going to create active directory groups with assigned and dynamic membership so this is the azure portal that i already have open here i am going to sign in with your user account now if you get back to the overview played and then manage section so if you notice i am signed in this one as this is my administrative users and if i go to active directory and then i can go to overview blade of active directory in the manage section click on licenses so over here this is my manage section and if i come down to licenses and this is what you see there is no group assignment uh, errors found so let's see what it says over here as you any premium p1 or p2 licenses are required in order to implement dynamic groups now right now i have not uh, 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 created any azure ad premium p1 or p2 it's not available to me at the moment so most likely what we'll have to do we'll have to start a free trial so let's see what we what we do here in the manage section click all products okay so let's come back come back uh, all x so here you manage click on all products and where here you see this try and buy button and i want to click on this one in here it's going to give me a couple of different options both options you can use the free trial and for this particular lab what we'll do we're going to use the azure ad premium p2 entry Okay, and then we're gonna say the free trial. I want to activate that one. Okay, so let's see. Select this, this, this as your P2. So just activate this one first. Okay, and it says successfully activated uh, our Azure AD Premium P2 trial. Okay, so refresh the browser window to verify the activation was successful so let's see refresh the browser window you come over here and refresh that and let's see and there we go so what it says that you 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 now have as your active directory premium p2 i have a total 100 licenses available nobody is assigned to it uh again a total is 100 so the available is also 100 at the moment so what we will do from the licenses all product so licenses all product blade select the azure active directory premium p2 so again double click on that one or single click on that one and this one what you can do in the azure portal and get to the hold on uh premium p2 to your user account and the two user account that we created so what you can do now you can assign okay from the let me read this one more time and assign all license options of the azure premium p2 to user account so again to assign you just all you need to do click on the assign and assign users and groups we have not created any groups so what we'll do we'll pick up the two users that we have just created as part of the task one and i'm going to say select okay so these are the two newly created accounts we have just added the license and then here you have to say review and assign so it will get get it assigned so we are just doing that it says license assign so what will happen those users will, will, will swap in here in a minute and if you go back and now you see that two because we have used up two now the 98 are now available uh, as, a, as a licenses all right so that's how you assign the premium period license now let's see how to how to how to how to create groups so let's go back to the azure ad 
okay now we are working with the user let's go to groups and instead of creating new user let's create a new group and the name of the group let's use it a security group okay and then a group name is going to be the it cloud administrators and then a group description let's use the same contoso it cloud administrators okay and the next thing that i need is uh hold on for a second all right so the next thing that i need to do membership type that you see over here this time instead of a assign membership we want to select a dynamic user okay that's how and you will know how the dynamic uh, assignment works now here note if the membership type drop down list is grayed out wait for a few minutes but for us it didn't so we are all good so now at this time we are going to click on the add dynamic query so so this query is very important in the configuration rule okay so this dynamic query brought up this configuration rule so what we need to do we need to add some stuff create a new rule so what we need to do create a new rule with the following setting property we need we need to provide the job title equals cloud administrator so let's see here the property you click on and then look for job title got that operator is going to be equals so search for equals okay and the value we're gonna just provide the value as cloud administrator so there we go and then at this time we can save this query let's see where is my save button right here it's at the very top so click on the save button so there is my query already there okay now at this time i can hit the create button so it should be creating the group okay there is the group which is a dynamic if you look at it it's a dynamic membership type so save the rule and back on the new group blood uh, click on create so here i'm going to create another group this is again going to be a security group uh, this time we're going to call it it system administrators okay that's what it is group description is going to be contas so it system administrators let's just provide that one again it is going to be another dynamic user group and we're going to create another dynamic query so click on that one and this time again we're going to use a job title okay so job title and this time it's also going to be equals okay but this time instead of cloud administrator we're going to use uh, system administrators okay at this time you can hit on save and then create so that should create my another group this is also another dynamic group so we have done this so back on the groups all groups so come back to the all groups so here this is where you are on the edit it clicks the new group button okay we are creating even a third group so click on another group it's still a security group and by the way you can only have a security and microsoft 365 uh, but pretty much most of the time you'll be working with the security group uh, then a uh, group name is a uh, it lab administrator so let's create that one uh, let's get the group description put it in here and then membership time this time it's assigned okay this is not dynamic and you do not need to create select any members and uh, just hit create oh actually you know what uh, no members but from the groups from the add members okay no members selected what we will do we're gonna search for the groups okay we're gonna not got not add any members but we're gonna add a couple of groups okay so click on no members selected which is which we just did then add members and search for it cloud administrator so copy and search in here there is my group so selected again i'm going to select another one and then go back and search for the it system administrators put it here there's my group uh, selected select so now it says two members selected right so we have selected both 
now you can hit the create button so this one is going to get created so now back on the groups all groups blade so this is the ball groups blade click the entry representing the it cloud administrator so let's see it cloud administrator so this is a dynamic group click on that one okay uh, on the display and on the display it's members blade so this members blade verify that az104 add user appears as a list of group members so you see that the, this member has automatically appeared now how why do you think it, it appeared because we haven't really created we haven't added anybody in here now it says you may experience delays with updates of the dynamic membership groups to expedite the update navigate to the grouplet displace the dynamic rule click edit and rule syntax so you really don't need to do that if you already seen that so what is going on because this is a dynamic membership rule we have provided that when you are creating this rule okay if the job title matches system administrator for any user put them in the system administrator group if the if the if the title matches a cloud administrator put them in the cloud administrator group okay so now we are not doing this manually now everything is getting done automatically so the last thing we want to do we're going to go back in uh, our groups so this time if i go to system administrator i'm expecting that this one should also automatically pick up this user which is a which is a what kind of user which is a system administrator so this one automatically placed dynamically get placed in that particular group <laughs> okay so what we really did in this lab we created two of these groups we make them a dynamic and then we we assign some rules and what we also did we uh, place both of these groups inside one statically assigned group which is it lab administrator now since these two dynamic groups got rules they are picking up users whoever matches the group name based on their job title and that is the end of our task two so let's meet with you all on task three in the next video thank you for watching